Hi, good night. I'm an inside and interception. We're here with Rene Best. And we have a special guest tonight. We have Keston Julian, right? A little about Keston Julian, okay? He is, uh, well, formerly was the defender slash wing back, right? For FC Sheriff. And he played notably in the Champions League matches. Also went on to win a Mold Moldavian Cup and league with them. Um, he's currently representing our country um, right now as we are trying to, well, pursuing Gold Cup qualification. That's just a little of Keston. All right, so tonight we're just going to have a candid conversation with him. All right, um, Keston, first to begin with, how are you going? You good? Yeah, good. Always good. Can't complain. All right, all right. Um, we will start. We will start. Um... How was the experience playing with Sheriff? That is, that is, that is the first and foremost question we have here. How was the entire experience playing with Sheriff? Uh, the experience was good. <clears throat> uh, first was a little bit difficult, you know, to find country. To find country. But yeah, after a while, it started, started drilling good, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's a team that with plenty of nationalities, especially. African players, you know, so easy to bond with, so you know, and I've already had a problem with so the team, to, to, with the team. Um, yeah, and I think I, I, I create a, a lot of issues with this team, and then two championships, a cup, playing Europa League, Champions League, you know, so yeah, it's, uh, I say it was a, a great journey for me. Right, right. Um, something, uh, something I had um, a question to ask Are you the first Trinidadian to play the league or? You, you you know that knowledge and I was looking to try to research it to see if anyone any uh, any Moldovan league yeah yeah I think so yeah so that is that you set a record basically then yeah let's say so yeah because I mean at least we know for sure that well as we know at the interception only five percent of national or local players sorry really break into foreign leagues you know and you to go out there and not just break into a foreign league but a league that you know that no player has really even really graced you know that's that's yeah, your achievement yeah. right there so just want to yeah. give you a kudos um yeah when you have anything to follow up with um i just wanted to know what was the was it a big transition from playing um local football we know you played with um Chablote and W Connection and these um other teams like was it a, a a big jump to playing with um FC Sheriff? Um to be honest, I never really play senior football with W Connection. You know? I mean, I would say I was like a not good player, but at the time when I was at W Connection, I thought yeah, better players than me in my experience with that. So I never really played first team football with W Connection. I think it was one game, I come on. No, I make my debut against Zabote as a 2015. And yeah, that was my only like first match. And then after I had a chance to go to and I played some game, but I know how to have a hamstring injury, so I never really played so much games on the game. Yeah, it's, it's not really, I say, it's not really a big transition, you know, it's just quicker thing, quicker thing on the pitch. You know, fast, fast ball movements, you know. But, I think the physicality is maybe the same, you know, and sure that I'm not a physicality, so you know, it's more, it's more better, more ball movement and quick thinking, you know, so that you're, 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 you're brain one, and I think you're getting lost on the pitch. Okay. Right. Um, something I wanted to, to, um, to ask in that, um, I remember watching videos with you back in like 2016 when you was training alongside Levi Garcia, um, with I think it was Anthony Sherwood. Yeah. That was that was your coach or personal trainer? Yeah, like my personal trainer. Yeah. Personal trainer. Um how how much credit would you give that I wanna say that process or that development to the player you are right now? With personal trainer, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the trainer be really really hard. Yeah, he changed, you know, mentally and physically to avoid the rock, you know, which is, you always have to be fit. If you're not fit, to be honest, it won't be. You're just basically bad, you know, you're just bad for yourself. So you're just trying to, trying to, yeah, get out in the right mental state and the right 
my dog is about to the to take it to the next stage of one year is that yeah he gave me a big push and in my career i can say it the, the one that i found yeah, I remember, I remember the videos when you was rocking the um, you know the mohawk everybody used to rock, Renny. Yeah, the ballet, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the um, <laughs> the sugar rum mohawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides, yeah, 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 I remember. So, with, with that being said, yeah, yeah. you have any question? You have a question from? Um, just my question was more based on we know that a lot of players locally are aspiring to play away and playing these different leagues. Everybody wants to play Champions League football and these kind of things. But um, can you tell us about the the mental health aspect of the game that, that you personally had to go through? Because we see how how very few players make it from here, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it is a tough thing mentally. Um, how can you describe your process for us? I mean, yeah, first of all, yeah, it, Mentally, not easy. I mean, you're away from your family, your friends, your, yeah, your day ones, you know, and then you have to go away to our next country and yeah, transition to that. That sometimes our country, you not know, even speaking English, you know, you have to learn some languages, the simple things, you know, to get through the day. Um, to be honest, I would say, to be honest, as a mentally strong person, I, I will let them break because I know I, sorry. I have a future, you know. I, I know my talent. I know I know my God given talent. I know that you know I can reach far. So I was put out in my mind that yeah, I did for a reason, you know, God put me here for a reason, you know. So yeah, I just give him my all every day and you know, just try to still up there. Okay. All right. On a, another note, you know that it's a chill and to make a pre premier football league is going on right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you been um have you been watching it? I've, yeah, yeah, when I was in you know, more back and all over, yeah, I still watch it. Uh, some friends, uh, a few, quite a few friends playing it. So yeah, I watch it a lot. South friends, like I can't know it from down south, right? Yeah, south. I have friends in south, north, east. I have friends all over. All over. Because <laughs> I, yeah, because of football. All right, yeah. all right. So yeah. what I want to ask is, how, how how would you how would you say the league is progressing? You know, right now, um, I'm not sure if you know, but Currently, just yeah, the top three is AC Polar Spain on top, Club Club San no second, Terminix third. How would you feel? We, we, I mean, if you have an input on this, how would you feel? Do you feel like you know who's going to take it, take the top two spots? Yeah, I mean, I went and watch um last week. I went and watch Terminix play AC Polar Spain and yeah, it was a quite good level, you know. Um, players playing at a good level. High intensity, you know, a lot of um, competitiveness. But I think, yeah, my top two will be, yeah, I want to say, Terminex and Cup Sando. You see, now for the record. <laughs> yeah. Terminex and Cup Sando, right? So that's what yeah, yeah. that was Castellan Julian prediction for the top two. Say it again. Terminex, Lockata, and Cup Sando. So wait, which in which order? Terminex first or who first? Terminex, Terminex first. And then Club Sando? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, you're writing off defense force. <laughs> Are you so no, but I, I went and see two of them play. I see all of them play and yeah, these two teams they yeah, caught my attention. Yeah. Yeah. The the, the the quality of the football. The quality of the football. Yeah, the quality of the football good, you know. Um I mean, it's, it's not easy pitches to play on sometimes. I play on some difficult pitches. And I think the fellows handling it well. Um, the football, as I say, turn out football is it's aggressive, you know. I think we, not to say we're aggressive people, but yeah, it'll be aggressive, man, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's at a high intensity, you know. And yeah, it's good to keep the keep the, the football going, you know. I mean, we have a lot of talent in Trinidad and they just to showcase it. Right. Um, last question for me. I mean, I don't know if I'll have one after this. Um, given the fact that, you know, I'm, I'll show you a way of the current situation in Trinidad right now. Yeah. Right? Just give us one, there's a quick message that you will tell those youths, you know, aspiring, as when I said, aspiring to play outside, but you know, they kind of burden down with their environment. What's one, what's one thing that you could give them a message, if you could? No, it always, it always have a life outside violence, you know, I mean, you might grow up in an area thinking that you can come on tight and 
you know, everybody have a talent and yeah, the God given. So um, you just have to find it in yourself and, and push yourself to the to the max, and you know, and just believe in yourself that you, you will make it out. You know, I mean, none is easy in life. Everything is easy before that. No, everything is hard before it's easy. Mm -hmm. So just you know, yeah, pray to God, and you know, I think everything will come out uh, as you want it. All right, thank you so much. Keston, you don't have anything to ask him? Yeah. Uh, my last question was going to be, it was kind of similar to yours. Like, what would you say to aspiring ballers, um, especially the youth of, of Trinidad and Tobago, you know, because we see even through the league right now, a lot of youth, um, there's a lot of talented youth playing football right now. And I feel as though some of, we have this kind of small-minded way of looking at things where, um, the league here is 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 your is your the height you can reach. You know what I mean. But you know we talk into somebody here who started here and experienced here and also was able to experience out there. You know, so nah, as I say, it's our mindset. You know, even when I was sweating in the park and thing, I I was a mindset that. I had a I had to make it, you know. I had to go away. I had to play football away, you know. I know my ability, and I think once you had a, once the yeah, the players, the youths who play in the Premier League, believe in themselves. I know that, you know, everyone wants to make it outside, but you know, sometimes you might have one or two not so good games, and I think if yourself by the football thing, I'm making sense and everything. That's what the league and stuff, you know. Nah, just I always think to myself every game I play. I always think somebody watching me to take me to the next step, you know, and that's always motivate me every day. I think everyone should, should look at it like that, you know, as a step on the pitch, someone looking at you to take you to the next level. I think that should give you a push, you know. So, you know, there's never, never think of a bad game. Everybody has a bad game. The best players in the world have bad games, you know. But that is just life. And we just have to keep pushing and, you know, forget about it and move on to the next one. All right. Thank you. Thanks for that. Thanks for that message. Mm -hmm. I knew that the youth will receive it well. Um, well thanks yeah. for taking the time to have this conversation with us, Custon. Um, we yeah. just wanted to say one thing, just say outside the outside with the interception, and that is mm -hmm. it. The outside with the interception. That's it. Thanks. Thanks, yeah, man. No problem, man. Hey, thanks for sliding into another episode of the interception. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We out.